Years ago, I was thinking what Mojang is trying to tell us in its game. We have amazing ending that tries to explain existence, presents new religion to us. It says there is something at the end that you cannot even understand, something out of your mind, something impossible. So don't try to understand it, wake up and enjoy. For years, each Minecraft update was giving us some sort of advancement. We started in nowhere, first and only human who learns everything by trial and error. No tutorials, there was no instructions of what to do, just like in real life. Then we got villagers, nether and a lot of other stuff, little by little, through stone age into concrete one and recently they introduced piglin barter system. It is random trade with some, let's be real, still pigments for gold, literally most useless ore in the game. And now it is important because piglins believe in it. Piglins said so. They will give you for that shiny material anything. Overall trade will be never fair, also they will attack you if you don't have any gold on yourself. You have to have it, otherwise they will hate you. You literally have to use something useless because that said so and there's more of them. So you kinda have to be as everyone else. Do you prepare some golden armor before going into nether or you go straight there and get it there? I'm really curious because I saw some people don't prepare at all. So piglins are still worst type of humans who end up at the bottom after life because of their greed and stupidity. But here's the thing, if Mojang still didn't do heaven, that means they didn't want to. And yes, heaven seems to be boring, like what kind of monsters will you get there, some puppies? But I'm pretty sure Mojang will do something if they wanted to. Problem is, I don't think that is the idea they stand for, because nether comes before the end, and end has nothing to do with nether. Now, some may think we get wings and wake up in the same place, but we can fly now, and it's kinda similar to what we imagine when we talk about heaven, and we can argue about this a lot, because there's more than 100 million players and each has his own thoughts, but I think it is not enough to represent heaven. Not just wings, cause wings suits exist and it's basically a lighter in real life. So that would mean that there is no nether also. I mean there is no bottom world, because all we have in nether we basically have in real life. People filled with greed and hate blindly believe in something and make everyone else to follow them, else they will spit their hate on them. And no I'm not really talking about religions here. It's something worse, it's gold. It's brands, slew, cloud words, assumptions, expectations, instruction to lie that leads to nowhere written by someone who didn't care enough, an education system, beliefs and traditions that's being passed from generation to generation by people whose main goal is to be for now. You can create portal from world where humans work fair or whatever they want to, to the world where they hate and are ready to work whatever just so they get what everyone wants so no one hates them after all, even though there is no practical use for it. And the portal is the verge between one kind of people and other. The problem is the portal is already open for you in real life. Real world needs more people who will buy that kind of stuff because that means that they work for free overall. Because they trade their actual work that provides value to someone, to something useless that doesn't provide that value back. That means someone else is getting rich out of your value. And when there are much more people who work for free, that means other people have to work less, which always was the goal of existence. Do less, get more. So do everything in your power until you don't have to do anything. This is the reason why we create trading holes in our survivals, but that is whole different story. We've been told all our lives that we should finish school, then university, then work to get money and that's it. All we've been told is to follow someone else's comments. We're getting used to it for 20 best years straight. Then we do mistake that is irreversible and then we just wait when it so lover. If you need motivation to get out of there you can watch some Gary V's videos or Graham Stephens, but don't forget that YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, etc. is all entertainment in the first place. You have to think by yourself. Now piglins are afraid of their zombified version and even though they don't care about the gold, they care if you hurt one of them. They will attack you if you hurt first, which is more fair actually. 
But the idea is that these people don't care about money, but are still in a wrong place. And let's be clear, in this scenario, the nether is actually just worst part of humanity. Bottom of economics, the ones who don't have money and the ones who can't deal with money because they don't know how. There are much more piglins and zombified piglins in nether than there are villagers. And once piglin comes up through portal, he's being zombified. And that cannot be reversed. This means that zombified piglins have better behavior than regular piglins, but they are still zombified. Or they have better behavior because they were zombified. Which I don't want to say this because all of the possible hate in the comment section, but I have to. They were calmed down with belief that they will get a prize afterlife by living forever happy, which does not exist in Minecraft or real life. So the question that confuses the most, are zombie piglins better or worse than piglins? Which side of this scale is a good one and on which side the player is? So they wait for a miracle. They want to be on the other side of the portal without going through the portal. They know that having gold has nothing to do with practicality, so they don't attack you. But they know what it is to be a community. Unlike overworld villagers who can't fight at all and rely on someone else's protection, they want to be a player, someone who doesn't read instructions, who doesn't follow traditions, who's not cuffed into a community or any beliefs, someone who knows what's up and who takes advantage of everything they learn on the way. Adventurer, explorer, inventor. They don't want to have everything. They want to not be forced to do anything, free happy, but they still don't want to learn anything to become a player. We've established that zombie piglins are closer to the verge of the difference, to the portal and to the overworld, and they have better behavior than piglins. But they still will hate someone if they will attack their community. Saddest thing is that in real life you can attack people with just words. Both types of piglins have a child version, and they behave completely different. Just like any believer, if you attack zombie child, they will attack you back with all the force of their community. If you attack piglin child, or if you break any gold block, open a chest, they will run away and snitch on you to adult piglins. And also, they are most likely to steal your shiny gold. Basically, if you left your iPhone in a school locker room, only piglin's kids will steal it. And in the same way that you can calm down an angry piglin with something shiny, you can stop a school bully by proving him that you also wear that gold armor, or share some other belief or passion. At the same time, overworld kids just run around and play and act same as adults. Who are you from Minecraft population, and whom you would like to be? So do they say that people who fell into greed will never be recovered fully? I hope that it's not the case, but guys, this video is super random, and I don't know if I make more of these, so let me know if you like it by clicking the like button or comment. If you'd like to watch some mysterious theories about Minecraft, I suggest you watch Minecraft Game Theory right here. And see you next time!